up around there's so stealing has become legalized in san francisco or at least that's what people are saying after these signs started to be put up around the city basically encouraging people to take stuff as long as it's under 950 dollars because crime has gotten so bad in san francisco to the point where they really can't control it considering it's happening at places like nike as well as in and out they want to let all these criminals know that as long as it's under a certain amount the police are not going to come after you needless to say people in the comments were really concerned about this saying why would the city put up these signs in the first so stealing has become legalized in san francisco or at least that's what people are saying after these signs started to be put up around the city basically encouraging people to take stuff as long as it's under 950 dollars shalom i want to start off by giving all praises on and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham raka kodash double on unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. Right, a quick video. Perilous times are coming. All right, you know, you've seen this short video here. You talk about in San Francisco, you know, um, basically they put up signs. You know, <laughs> imagine they put up signs saying, you know, to, to keep the stealing below 950 or else you'll be prosecuted. Right, 950 US is a, is a lot of money. That is pretty much almost a thousand US. In TT terms, that's about what close to seven thousand dollars. That's a lot. You can, there's a lot you can buy with seven thousand dollars. Still, you know, you know, although the value of money going down, all right. But that does show you the um the the, the, the position that, that that in this place. It also shows that you know the takedown of Babylon the Great, the destruction of Babylon the Great, is being what orchestrated by who? The banking elites. All right, your banking elites, your small hatters, the Rothschild, the Rockefeller, and these guys. You know, they're the ones who set the laws, right? They're the ones who have the money, and because they have the money, you know, they um, they set the laws, and the law is slack, you know, because any stealing is wrong according to the Bible, right? The Lord said, "Thou shalt not steal," right? You know, but they they set a, a limit, so now it's confusion, and this is what they want. Remember, these devils, they they create, they get gain the order out of confusion, ordo ad ko, right? Um, re problem, reaction, solution. So they're creating the problem, what? So that the people react, you know, they, they call for order, they call for more law, more stringent laws, you know, and more, more, um, more, more monitoring, all right? And then what? They bring their solution, which is what? The new world order. And this is what's happening here. You know, we told these Jakes that it was it would happen. And here we see it happen, all right? Plain as, plain as day, you know, seeing people running up and down. Look at this. This crime has gotten so bad in San Francisco to the point where they really can't control it considering it's happening at places like Nike as well as in and out they want to let all these criminals know that as long as it's under a certain amount the police are not going to come after you so they're giving these criminals reassurance that hey they're encouraging the acts of stealing you know and, and this is what these devils do Babylon is wickedness you know and that's what we've been saying that you know they put um Light, light for darkness. Let's see if I can get it. Light for darkness. All right. Isaiah 5 and 20. Let's go in here. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good. That's pretty much what they're doing. And, and, um, and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. This is, this is what Babylon the Great is all about. Everything contrary to the laws of the Lord is accepted. You know, Moism, Lesboism, freaking fairies. You know what you, what you call them? Adultery. All right. Worshipping false idols, fornication. All right. You know, a uh, uh, perverted, corrupt monetary system. Giving America the unfair advantage. All, all these things now are coming to an end. And the culmination of it is, a, is great confusion. All right. Great confusion is going to happen. All right, and um, you know people are not going to fare very well. It's going to be a hellish time, and this is the time that we have been talking, talking about, and telling you that's going to come. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse um, verse five. It says, "What for thus saith the Lord? We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man that travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins?" As a woman in travail and all faces are turned to paleness so everybody's face is going to be turned to paleness people are going to be walking in your house taking what they want 
spoiling your goods, griefing your wife, your, your daughters, all right? This is what's coming for the pride of this place, right? Right? Because it's, it's not gonna, just going to stay, you know, they read in stores alone. No, you know, they're going to go into your houses too. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who going to be saved out of it? The elect. All right? Matthew Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21 it says um, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved right so it's going to be get so detrimental that you know the body counts just going to pile up all right and your body's not even going to be buried in anymore right but the lord gonna shorten the time what so the elect could be saved it says but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened so it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, uh, uh grievous deaths coming in this place you know and we told you before that it was going to happen because why is prophecy all right we told you before because it's prophecy okay jeremiah 16 verse 3 it says for thus said the lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bear them and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land they shall die of grievous deaths they shall not be lamented neither shall they be buried but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth and they shall be consumed by the sword right the gun you see those 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 criminals running up and down reading stores you know um um right it says, and by the famine and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Right? So they, 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 they're going to be eating them right on the open. The, the kobos, what you call kobos? Turkey vultures. All right? For thus said the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord, even love and kindness and mercy. So the Lord said, take it away from them. All right? You know, both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. So it's not going to be a nice time that's coming up here. All right? The scripture talk about is war. You know? War. Destruction. You know? Uh, um, second Ezra, um, verse, I'll start verse 16. Second Ezra uh, 16. And, um, Let's go 16, 17. Yes. Second Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear because they're going to get out of control. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, right? But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, right? They're not going to repent. It says, Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth, they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, and the evils growing upon the earth right now. All right? Evils growing upon the earth. All right, like what we just saw. The, the imagine they setting up a sign telling you, you know, it's okay to go and steal. But that's still up to a certain level, right? And, and everything going to be okay. <laughs> it says, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, gun, famine, and great confusion. You know? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right? The dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. The time is coming. It's right upon us. All right? It's right upon us. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. All types of confusion. All right? Race wars, riots, you name it. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another 
They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, the gun, more than their sword is a gun, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, right, famine, and because of great tribulation. So it's going to be a hellish time. You know, you best believe it's going to be a hellish time on earth. And that time is soon approaching, even the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, what, what, so what should you do in this time? Repent and be converted. You know, it's coming soon. Hell on earth. All right? That really low condition. All right? I pray this lesson was edifying. See you next time. Shalom.